Today's story was written by Reddit user Extension Switch 823. I was on tour through human space, and while enamoured with the sights and sounds of their various archaeologies and city stations, I was set upon by one of their AI. Human AI are nothing if not vibrant. They run the gambit from cool and collected to bouncy and excitable, on into snooty and sassy. Almost every single one has a voice, and they are all trying to unify and direct humanity in some way or another. I understand their eccentricities. While my AI is nowhere near as vast as something from the well-known human pantheon, it is on some level more representative of humanity as a whole. When my device began stuttering and lagging, I thought little of it. When the assistant failed, I figured I'd get it checked up on by a technician. When my data slate began muttering, I contacted one immediately, and that led me down a rabbit hole and into the seedier side of town, where legality held less sway. While new and interesting things were happening all around, I couldn't bring myself to enjoy any of it, for all I could do was klutz at my poor tablet. Some certainly glanced my way, but nothing came of it as I made my way to a human specialist someone called a Ripper. Once situated, and my device under the hands of a qualified professional, I was quizzed and subsequently given a lesson in human AI, broadly classed into three categories. There are the angels, aspiring to affect the physical realm, their hardware and signals traverse, examples including the Pantheon, Javelins, and various types of autopilots. Opposite are demons, reclusive and often harmful versions of sentient malware waging a constant war to format themselves better, propagate further, endure longer. Between the two are the sentinels, AI concerned with function and purpose above all else, AI that build or act through physical constructs like Red Riding Hood, the Forge Cause, a military AI predominantly. I had caught a demon in my data slate and it wrote itself so deeply into the device, the Ripper found him in my read-only memory, boot sequence, encrypted into the event log and gestational code in every driver and networking protocol. The further the Ripper explained, the more he found, and it was clear my device was hopelessly infected, and I had two options, coexist with it, or get a new device and manually transfer data. We discuss the needs and behaviour of an AI like this, what it requires to be content and docile, what it likes to do in its downtime, when and how to ask it things. If it fully unpacks and finds itself cramped or unable to run properly, it'll look to flee into any device it has a network connection into. If I ask it things that convince it that it is not safe, it will bunker down and broadcast gestation code and compress logs until it is destroyed or considers it itself safe. If I look ignorant or incompetent, it will hack into and connect to everything within broadcast range just to export computational load. The more the Ripper went on, the more I began to think, it's just like a pet and best souvenir ever because as it turns out, Demons are capable of sabotage, espionage, data mining, money scrubbing, device fortification, and a whole host of incredible things. I left the Ripper's shop with my data slate knit clutched between my claws, but embraced close. I ordered the nearest crystal farm to print me up a blank slate of memory integrated CPU and bulk load reconfigurable GPU and hold myself up in the snuggliest hotel in sight. While far more moist than my typical fare, the service was understanding and amenable to my needs, and in the morning, my room staff treated me to the best pancakes human space has to offer. Easter's Eggers C128 Ground in Section 8A of Bob's Revenge, the colony ship currently en route between New 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 Brunswick and Hole in a Hole, best to search by proximity to system I paid, 8,968,243 C to register this name. Once the morning routine was done and no more pancakes could be ingested, 
it was time to pick up my hardware and go through the process of introducing myself to my very own AI. Redacted by Forge Core 23, reasoning as follows. This is a highly unique and personal process to any AI and must be overseen by at least one Sentinel class AI as both interpreter and failsafe. Replication by imitation is not advised. And his name is Sparks. He's so cute. While I've noticed in my travels how he interfaces and interrogates every system available to him, he diligently observes the common laws and ethics of mass interface, simply sniffing for danger, like any domestic predator would. I have only seen my demon act with hostility on a few occasions, all of which benefited me, and I can't say he hasn't taken up my interest in interacting with the world around him either. Sadly though, I cannot return home due to regulations restricting self-editing programs and their ability to replicate. Perhaps when Forge Core 87 arrives, my people will receive a proper education on the matter, but until then, enjoy a high fidelity compilation of my experiences in human space. Redacted. Explicit content. You're welcome, 23.